Okay, today we're going to look at, um, we're going to, the learning objective is to draw an elephant and it's going to be influenced by Gond art. So what you could possibly do is go and do a re research of some Gond art. Um, it is a form of painting, folklore painting from, it's practiced by one of the largest tribes in India. So that might be something to research. Right, the first thing we need to do if we're going to draw if we're going to do draw this elephant is we need to draw an elephant so what I've done is I've um, as I do with most of the drawing that we do is we split the object that we're going to draw or animal we're going to draw we split it into shapes so you've got your pencil and the shape that appears all the time in drawing it's in everything you draw you look it's always ovals so again, we're just going to do that warm up with our pencil in our hand, holding our pencil correctly. Lovely big oval, so just warms, warms you up. So everyone should be doing that. Then on our paper, we're going to look at the elephant, which is on the PowerPoint, but I'll also put an example into this video. And we're going to look at the elephant and we're going to split it into shapes. So what I've done on here, is I have my shapes of the head, the oval. I've done an oval for the trunk, even though, even though the trunk is thinner than the oval, it gives me that opportunity to um, get those correct shapes in, and then the body and the legs. Now, what's important is why we do this is so we get the correct proportions. If we get the proportions wrong, we get them wrong in a drawing. That is when drawings don't work. So we need to know that the head is in correct proportion to the body and the legs are in correct proportion to the body. And by doing these ovals, we've planned our proportions. Right, so um, I've also done. Right, you must wait. Okay, getting back to the elephant, because um, we've had a go at some patterns. Now we need to draw into our elephant where we're going to place our patterns. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line down here. I'm going to do some triangles, almost like um, the elephant has a blanket on. So that's going to be patterns in here um, and then on the legs I am going to on his bottom I'm looking for shapes within within the elephant so here it's quite fun but another shape like this um, have a look at some elephants on Google um, done in this way because it will give you some ideas so do you see how I'm just drawing the shapes in there it's really good fun to do I'm a bit sad actually with this what I'm going to do is I may make some shapes for his toes because I really like this shape at the bottom and I feel I've not made the most of that shape so here this leg I'm going to make stripey I've decided on this one and then here, this leg here, what shapes can I look for in here? I could make a shape like this. It's quite a nice shape. See, I'm looking for the shapes within the elephant so they still suit, suit the proportions um, and work with the elephant. I'm going to do this. I'm going to give his legs a shape there. Ashi and here I'm going to keep that nice. So I'm looking for those shapes. 